Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my empties and favorites for December. So I do actually have quite a bit of stuff here. Um, I'm not going to ramble on. Everything that I mentioned that is available now I will link in the description box below. And as always, I'm going to start with my empties because it's just a pile of stuff that I can throw away as soon as I'm done with this portion and it makes me feel good. So if you're just here for the favorites portion, I will link in the description box below. Not link, but I will leave in the description box below um, timestamps where I will have my favorites listed there. So big stuff first, um, I went through a lot of shower supplies, um, a giant thing of the Herbal Essence Body Wash Honey I Smell Good. Um, I've been working on this honestly though for like a year. Um, I always have like three or four soaps in my shower going at once, so this is kind of like my back burner soap. It's like if I'm running out of the other thing that I like more, I will use this one. So I finally used this up. I then went through um, a thing of the Aussie Shampoo and Conditioner, nothing special, just I like to just pick up random shampoos um, and conditioners. So this is what I had in my shower and this is what I had used up this month. Of course, all of this stuff being said, I have purchased more shampoo and more body wash. But I did um, go through a thing of the Pretty Rose Hearts body wash that Anne had sent me back this summer during our swap. Um, this was really nice. It only lasted, you know, a couple showers. It is a sample size, so I did go through it fairly quickly, um, but I actually really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed the scent of this a lot. And pardon if I sound a little strange, I am just a touch sick, so there's that. And I only included this because I wanted to point out that I finished three of my normal shower soaps. <laughs> so I have three soaps in here this month. This was the bar soap that I work on. This smells amazing. This is that, uh... Bulgari soap that I mentioned probably like four months, maybe five months ago. I don't, I don't know. It was a long time ago, but it smells divine, and I would love to find another one as soon as I run out of the soaps that I've been hoarding under my sink and uh, can justify buying some. Um, surprisingly enough, I went through one candle this month. Um, I made a huge Bath and Body Works candle haul. Um, I didn't record it or anything because. I don't know, but um, these last like a surprising amount of time. I, I burn candles every single day, um, and so I was a little like flabbergasted to see that this tiny little candle was $15, but it literally lasted for like two and a half weeks straight of burning, so that was fantastic. And then I've been burning another candle right now, um, and then I have my Scentsies going at all times. So my house has been smelling amazing all month with one candle. This is in the Tis the Season scent. So I actually really enjoyed this and I will purchase some more as I need to, but I've got a ton of them. Next up this month in my Ipsy bag, maybe it was Sephora, that's, um, I got a Baybreeze hydrating shot. I did use this on my hair the night I got it and I love it. Um, I would love to go get some more of this, uh, but you know, just as time comes, next time I'm in Sephora, this hair. The next time I'm in Sephora, I do plan on looking for this because I actually really enjoyed this. So when I first started delving into makeup, I went on Amazon and I just looked for contouring kits. Didn't even really know what it was. Um, and I found this little contour palette. It had a highlight, a contour, and a bronzing shade in it. I picked it up. It was only a few dollars, uh, but I actually have been using it ever since to wear um, Everything is gone except the bronzing shade because it is just way too dark for me. It's even darker than the contour shade was, which was what I actually did use for a long time in my bone, my uh, contour area. But the reason I'm getting rid of it is because obviously I don't use it anymore. So I just figured I'd share with you guys that I am getting rid of this bad boy finally once and for all. I do feel like I have to go through some of my makeup stuff because I have absolutely no room for anything in my bathroom anymore. All right, moving on to nail things. Um, I finished off a bottle of my non-acetone nail polish remover. Um, you know, this is just the Equate brand. I think this was this is a Walmart brand. I really, I'm not super picky as far as nail polish remover goes, especially na especially non-acetone. I feel like it doesn't make a difference if it's Walmart, Sally's, Janberry, Zoya, any any brand. Um, the non-acetone remover I feel works the same across the board. So I just pick this up literally anywhere I can. I also went through a giant bag of my 200 cotton balls that I get at Kroger. Um, I have some more thanks to Bethany from our swap, uh, but you know, I always have 
a couple bags of cotton balls on hand anyway. I use them religiously for taking off my makeup, for cleaning my face, for taking off my nail polish, for just about anything, for soaking up my wax and my scentsies. Seriously, everything. I, I always have 100 cotton balls on hand. The next thing is my UNT Peel Off Base Coat. Um, there is just a smidge of this left. It's not anything that I can get to at this point. I do have to wait until I can dump it into my next UNT bottle, which I do have on deck. Um, but I am kind of trying to steer clear of using this anymore. Uh, it is really nice as far as uh, glitter designs for me go. But as far as swatching anymore, I feel like it yellows my nails more than anything and it's just not ideal for me anymore. So I am trying to step back from using this UNT um, just a little bit until I can find a peel-off base coat that doesn't yellow me so bad. So um, I did finish off a bottle of this. I do have another one, you know, standing by because it is really nice for those super glitter manicures that I really love to do. So I get my UNT from Live Love Polish. I will link them in the description box below, but I know they're available on Amazon as well. The next thing I went through doesn't even have a tag on it anymore, but this is from Living Dead Lacquer. This was their uh, cuticle balm, and I got this uh, last fall from them. It's in this like a uh, pumpkin-y, apple cider -y scent. I don't even know how to really describe it, but it's very fall and it's very festive. Um, I this sat by my bedside and after my showers I would just rub it into my cuticles at night and uh, let it sit. Unfortunately I believe uh, Living Dead Lacquer might be going out of business. If not, then I'm sorry, but uh, I will link them in the description box below anyway. Um, I don't plan on repurchasing this yet because I have so many other oils and balms that I need to go through before I can justify getting more, but uh, this was actually really, really nice. I did really love this. And finally for my empties, I have um, I'm Custom Colors Wicked Liquid Remover Infuser. Now what this is, is um, I take a bottle of acetone and I will pour some of this into uh, that bottle and it makes it less harsh on your nails. It's like a hydrator for your acetone where I can uh, clean up around my cuticle area because that's all I use pure acetone for anyway. I can clean up around my cuticle area and it doesn't dry my cuticles out as badly. Um, I did only, I, I savored this as much as I could. Um, so I was only putting very, 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 very little bits into each bottle of acetone that I was purchasing. Um, but I love this stuff. I know there are a few brands that sell it. Um, I am Custom Colors, the only one that I've tried it from, and I don't know if she sells it on her site. She sends it to me as a PR package, and if she does, I do need to purchase some because it is magnificent. I really, really like this stuff. And so that is my empties, and now let's go ahead and move on to my favorites. Now, most of this month's favorites is um, no polish stuff, but I did want to talk real quick and just say that we went and saw the movie Mona, and that was fantastic. I can't. I cannot wait to buy that. That's such a cute little movie. Uh, so that did have to make it into my favorites this month. The next thing that I'm going to talk to you about is the Urban Decay uh, Eyeshadow in the shade Midnight Cowboy. I use this almost on a regular basis. Um, I might have talked about it before last month because it has been a couple of months now that I've been using it. But I have really, really been enjoying this. Um, it goes with almost every eyeshadow look. So. I use this in almost every day look. Next thing I've rediscovered my love for is my Gwen Stefani um, in Urban Decay palette. Um, this, I was so excited when I first got this um, and I used it every single day and then I started discovering other palettes that I really liked and it kind of got put on the back burner but I have been using it a lot recently, um, especially with this gold shadow down here and then you know all of the um, transition shadows I've been using a lot. Really the only shadows I don't get use out of is Blackout and Serious and Danger, but the rest of them I really do get a lot of use out of. They're all fantastic. I don't have an issue with any single eyeshadow in this palette, um, but then again, I don't use these three, so I can't speak for them, but I can speak for the rest of them and I really love them all. Except for my birthday in November, my husband got me a it brushes brush set. It's just got um, six brushes in here 
that um, have all been really fantastic. You know, I use this one for my foundation, I use this one for my powders, my blush, my shadow brushes, and my brow blush. Um, I don't know that that's what they're supposed to be used for, that's what I use them for, and they work magnificently for me. At least I think they do. Sorry about all of that. Um, at least I think they do, but um, I've actually really been loving these brushes, like, a lot. They've come in super handy, and I don't know how I haven't... I don't know how I've gone this far without, like, a real brush set, so I actually really love these. Okay, now we are moving on to nail stuff. I will start with this base coat by Probel. Um, they sent this to me as like a PR sample. I'm not, I'm not really sure what it was. It was just one polish and it was a base coat, so I wasn't sure what they really wanted me to do with it, but I have been using it um, for every single swatch and most of my nail art that doesn't include glitter uh, nail art that I wanted to peel off. I have been using this with everything else um, and it does magnificent work. Uh, it's made one of my manicures last for six days, which doesn't happen for me. Um, nothing chipped, nothing stained. I even put on a polish that stains me every single time with every single base coat that I use. It stains me and it did not stain me with this one. So that was something to note in my book. As far as polish itself goes, I have two indies and two mainstream that I want to talk about and I will start with the indies. The first one is from I Am Custom Color and it is La Perry. Um, this was an indie shop event exclusive. I'm not sure if you can get it anymore. Uh, maybe you can't. I think she might have some of these. I'll link her in the description box below anyway, but this is such a nice, beautiful, icy pink polish that's just perfect for the winter time, and I will be wearing it through February. I can already tell you that much, and it's just, it's stunning. It's got a great formula, a great color payoff, beautiful. I, what can I say? I'm a huge fan. And the other indie that I wanted to talk to you about was King Midas from Starly. Um, this is an all glitter holographic gold polish um, that I've been using as accent nails, as glitter gradients, as sponge dawn, as just everything for the month of December because I felt like, well, I do feel like gold is such a Christmassy color that it, it was necessary and this is like my favorite glitter roll right now so on that same note of the glitter thing i have opi's my favorite ornament um i've been using this a lot as accent nails as well but i have also been using this one as full manicures this is such a beautiful beautiful silvery gold like glass fleck glitter polish it's so beautiful um completely opaque in three coats I'm not gonna do swatches of these for this video because this is not what that is. And the last polish that I was wearing quite a bit uh, for the month of December is Pearl Jammin from China Glaze, which was a big shock to me that I even reached for it the first time. But after I reached for it the first time, I was like, this is beautiful. I gotta reach for it again, and again, and again, and again, and on my toes, and again. It's so stunning. I, I guess I didn't appreciate it the first time I put it on nearly as much as I do now, but it is a light blue polish with this super strong gold shimmer running throughout it. It does take three coats to build up completely, and it's a really nice, really wintry polish. So that is it for polish. There are just a couple other nail-related things that I've been using quite a bit this month that I wanted to talk to you about. The first one is a cuticle balm for my custom color. Now this comes with, you know, like a chapstick type applicator, but it is for your cuticles and I absolutely love like the idea of this. I feel like it's not as messy, it's not hard to get out of a little container for a balm, it's not, I mean it's great, you know, and it's super hydrating and I love this stuff. It's really, really nice and it has the most amazing scent. And the last thing I wanted to mention today is my Dance 20, 20 Dance, have I been saying that wrong like this whole time? My 20 Dance Detailing Brush from I'm Custom Color. I've used this so many times this month that my other detailing brushes are like, I'm still here. Um, it's, it's great, it's great for tiny little details, it holds a good amount of paint, it's good for full coverage. Um, I have a tendency to want to cut my brushes even smaller uh, and I feel like every time I do that, it works great for a while. Um, but it, it ends up not holding paint as well, so I'll have to keep dipping and dipping and dipping and then I'll eventually just get streaky lines. So uh, this one I haven't felt the need to want to cut yet. It always uh, dries straight back to its original point and that's fantastic to me. I used this 
literally all the time. So this is my 20 Dance Detailing Brush from What's Up Nails. Again, I'll link them in the description box below. <laughs> that is it, my empties and favorites for December. I think this is like three months in a row now that I'm getting this up and I'm super excited about that. Hopefully I can, you know, keep my channel going the way I actually want it to. I just uh, have to do it. Okay, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Let me know in the comments below if you like these kind of videos because if you don't, I'll stop making them, but if you do, you know, I'll, I'll keep doing it. Um, I'll also link all of the indie makers and any coupons that I might have in the description box below as well. And I will talk to you guys again next time. Bye.